everyone welcome to this new video today i'm going to tell you how to make a cool kind of drop shadow yeah a cool drop shadow <laughs> so the first thing you need to do is simply create a frame or i create a frame here because you know, just for the example but if you are on a design for example you just have to create um, i don't know, like a cube or a rectangle whatever works for you then i usually like to have a little bit of um curves on the sides some round corners but again you do whatever you you prefer then what you need to do is simply take a photo so i took one on on unsplash here this one right there by jan allegre then you copy paste it in the in the cube then what you need to do is simply command c or control c and copy paste it command v or control v you take the bottom one, you go to effect, you go to layer blur, and then you blur it as kind of, not as much as you can, but kind of, you see, to get this very smooth and very, I don't know, like I find it very rich in terms of colors and, and details because it comes from the main, the main photo. So you don't have, nobody can have the same gradient as you, the same drop shadow as you, except if they take your photo. And then what I like to do is, uh, reduce it to maybe something like 60 maybe or 80 depends on what you like maybe 60 for me is good then what you're going to do is press shift i'm going to show you here by pressing option on mac i don't know on windows sorry so you press shift and then you push the down arrow two times so one two to have a 20 pixels difference then you have it here it is it looks pretty cool right of course you can change it if you want you can also reduce it you know, I mean, not like that, this way, to keep it centered, you know, it creates, you have a lot of different varieties, right? So choose whatever you want, but I think it can really improve your design and, you know, the visuals as well. It makes it very, I don't know, very smooth and, and very cool. So yeah, that's the tutorial. I hope you liked it and I see you for the next one.